Hi guys, it's Christina C. Jones. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are going to be doing something a little bit different today. Um, a day in the life or weekend and a, and a day in the life of the creator or the creative, I guess. Um, and I'm really excited about this. Like I said, this is something a little bit different from what I would normally do on my channel, but it's something that has been requested before. And because I was actually doing things this weekend. It was a really, really busy weekend. I'm incredibly tired. Um, I'm sore. <laughs> I'm aching from the weekend, but we feel really, really good about having gotten one of our bigger things that we wanted to do in our house, one of the bigger renovations that we wanted to do for our house. We finally got it done, and I'm really, really excited about that. So let's go. So you can see, um, Get my candle lit, which I have not been having in a long time. I got my candle lit. I got me a nice big cup of water. I got my word doc open, and I'm about to get started. So in just about an hour, I got my doc to um, a little over 2,000 words. From about 1,200 words is where I started. Um, so that's seven or eight hundred words, something like that, which isn't a lot um, in an hour, but I'm going to let it go here because um, I don't want to push it and I feel good about what I got down. So I'm just going to let that be. So my yard is kind of a mess or the patio rather is kind of a mess. It stormed last night, but I came out here to look at my plants and stuff and to spray. This is just water with some peppermint oil in it. I'm gonna spray all over the patio um, because spiders don't like peppermint oil. <laughs> spiders don't like the smell of peppermint oil. So I'm gonna get rid of these suckers. And I've done that before. It supposedly helped. Um, it seemed like it helped. But um, when I did it before, I sprayed like all my planters and stuff too, but I didn't spray the planters this time because um, Spiders are supposed to be beneficial for your garden, like eating the other, the pests that you don't want in the garden, the insects that you don't want in the garden. But I'm, I'm also like, F them spiders. I don't like spiders. Like, I really, really don't like spiders. And I was tired of walking out here and us not being able to be out here in peace because of, you know, walking into spider webs or whatever. So we'll see. These are my little plant babies. I need to clean up out here and I'm gonna get Byron to put uh, to put these orange planters, these, the cinder blocks are supposed to be together and the orange planters go on top of the cinder blocks, but we've been taking them down um, because of really bad storms. Um, but yeah, we've been taking them down. And so we're gonna put those back up and we keep, we I like those elevated because of my back issues. It helps me uh, be able to, kind of take care of them and stuff like I need to but these are tomatoes and at some point my uh I need to pull some some grass that's grown back up in there but at some point I need to, at some point collards are gonna be there these are my bell peppers that something has been eating um the, the big tomato plant these are green bean plants that took forever to sprout, but they finally sprouted, so I'm excited about that. And then this is a strawberry plant. Even though I am allergic to strawberries, my family is not, and they like them, so there's that. These are my squash plants that um, that I actually had to do quite a bit of trimming on yesterday. Um, I, had, I had sprayed them with some neem oil with a neem oil compound because um, very every year we plant squash, they always succumb to squash bugs. And so I've been trying to um, just keep kind of a good eye on them. And I sprayed them with some neem oil, trying to make sure that squash vine borers or squash bugs did not attack. And I think I did it a little too late in the day because I think I burned, uh, I think I burnt the leaves on them and so i had to do quite a bit of trimming um there's also some like some marigolds and stuff planted in there that are supposed to kind of deter the bugs but we'll see so i am about to cook breakfast now and um yeah 
I'm not even gonna front. I'm about to do the pancakes. I use pancake mix. I'm gonna show you guys what I use. This is my um, preferred pancake mix brand. Um, I actually like the um, the buttermilk and honey variety better, but I can only ever find it at Target. And well, you know. No, it's gonna be braids like Iggy. Huh? It's gonna be braids like Iggy. So about a month ago, we had decided that we were going to go ahead and do our kitchen, something that we had been talking about for a while. This is before everything got shut down, but we purchased, we put in the purchase order and everything for our countertops. It's gonna take a few weeks um, for them to come in. Well, they came in about two weeks ago. Um, and so now we're about to install our tile, the backsplash.
so it is 1 30 in the morning or about to be 1 30 in the morning um we are exhausted but we are also on the final frontier and the crazy thing about this is that this color on the cabinets that we had painted you might hear byron cutting tile in the garage but anyway, this color on the cabinets that we thought we hated, that we had painted just something real quick to give like a quick refresh, quick update to get something looking different in here. We didn't like it, but we're realizing that now with the white tile, it looks completely different. And we're thinking that maybe we just didn't like it because it clashed with the brown paint, um, with the warm tone paint that was still in here. And so we're actually, we're possibly considering actually keeping this color but refinishing like this area these high traffic areas where the paint has peeled up because we didn't do it right when we did it the first time but we're thinking about just fixing that um and replacing the hardware and leaving it leaving it at that but we'll see Last piece. Last piece. Yeah. It's in there. All right, so it's 3 a.m. Yeah, it's 2.56 in the morning. And we have set the last tile, as you can see. Old Man Jones. <laughs> I think my nose hair is white. They are. <laughs> <laughs> from all the um from all the tile cutting and all of that. Um we're very tired. How you feel, babe? It took longer than I thought it would take, honestly. Yeah. Uh <laughs> yeah. but I think it looks really good. Uh um, yeah like a totally different kitchen it's amazing yeah. what just it's... some normal subway tile can do uh to to the kitchen and so some subway tile a whole lot of elbow grease yeah but you were a champion back grease <laughs> she <laughs> was a champ y'all <laughs> so yeah we're, we're gonna cut this short um what well, you want to show it real quick we tired. The... <laughs> oh I, I got another clip i got like a I'm going to get like okay. a recorded, <laughs> like a recorded clip, but oh. uh, what time is it again? 3 a.m. We 3 got a.m. 3 in the morning. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are very close to the end, very close to being finished. Um, we got the grout in and I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out so far.
All right, so the dishwasher is loud, but here we go. We still have definitely some imperfections, but I would say that this is a large improvement, absolutely, over what we had before. Um, so, this time is my first time walking into it and seeing it in the natural sunlight. It looks so good. All right, guys, that was all. As you can see, we spent our weekend or a good part of our weekend completely redoing um, the backsplash and everything in our kitchen. Um, I feel like you see a lot of these videos and stuff of doing a project like that on YouTube, and it makes it look a lot um it makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. And I hate to say it like that because it wasn't that it was hard. It was just incredibly time consuming, very, um, very intricate on the details, putting in all the little spacers and then taking out all the little spacers and then making sure the grout lines are clean and all of that. It was a lot of work, but we're really, really happy with our result. We feel like it makes a big difference in the kitchen. Um, I think I have probably said it already in the footage, but we had painted that color on the cabinets and we hated it for so long. Like, well, we didn't hate it. It was an improvement on what was there, but we weren't in love with it. But now that we have the new granite counters and now that we have, you know, the white backsplash, it makes the cabinet color look a lot different. It makes it look a lot better. And so we'll see how we, how we really end up feeling about that, but we will probably end up doing, um, if, if, if we do decide to keep that color, we're going to refinish and do it right this time, because as you could probably see in some of um, in some of the footage, the brown that you see is where the paint has scratched off because we didn't do the proper sanding and anything of the surface that was already there before we painted. And so, you know, we'll do it right this time, get some new hardware. We want to do the floors. We want to uh, add new light fixtures. We are, of course, going to paint the walls. We still have a lot more to do in there, but we're really, really happy with what we've been able to get done so far. So yeah, there we go. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you want to see something like this again, because like I said, we have more kitchen projects. I do we 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 we're, we like to keep busy around here <laughs> and so let me know what you guys would like to see and as always thank you guys for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button tell a friend all that good stuff bye